Okay, here's a quick shot of the IRLP mobile node I'm going to be putting in my, my vehicle. This one's kind of unique because it doesn't even use a radio. It's totally radioless. All there is is a DTMF mic hooked straight into the sound card and for the push to talk and obviously into the IRLP board. And uh, right now, I didn't have a 8-volt uh, converter. So I'm running the DTMF, the backlighting, and the power for the microphone element off this 9-volt battery. So that will be eliminated and uh, be replaced with the DC to DC to converter for 9 volts. Um, of course, it's running wireless right now, so the whole thing is what you, what you see right there is the whole thing. So it's very, very small, and it works very, very well. And you can see right here, it's only drawing 2.9 watts. 2.7 so it's very very efficient and uh, so th the plan is to box all this up you know the box is very small that you could you know condense all this into and then I'll have this you know just running out from underneath the seat there's not there's no really it's kind of like a remote control head for everything and right now I don't have the uh, the uh, input for the DTMF going into the RLP board. I hadn't had a chance to hook that up, so I'm going to have to split it off of here and run it in here so it can decode the tones. So, uh, right now I'm just using the command line, and I'll fire it up and let you see how it works. IRLP Echo Reflector. Link active. Channel 9. And it's just running into these uh, PC, amplified PC speakers over here. So, basically when it's installed in the truck, all there will be is this microphone and a amplified uh, speaker. And I'll show you how it works. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three, four. Testing the RLP mobile node. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three, four. Testing the RLP mobile node. And the reason you hear that popping is because this is very important. This microphone needs to run off of 8 volts, not 6, not 7, and really not 9. So if it's not exactly 8 volts, you'll get some popping, and if it's uh, not quite 8 volts, you'll get, uh, you know, just be a low low signal. So that's why it pops like that. It took me a while to figure that out. And as far as the mobile node goes, this is what I'm going to use. I've already tested it. It works fine. I just replace the wireless dongle with this 3G uh, stick. And that should do it.